Okay, here's a tutorial by the Alltech channel on how to create MP3 format, um, create a song and convert it to MP3 format on iTunes. And so here it is. So um, I have the uh, iTunes set to the default format. So I'm going to show you. All right, I'll just go here. So if you look, it says create AAC version, and we don't want that. So I'm going to show you something else. Um, I said get info, and if you look, it says M4A right here on the where. So M4A. That means it's an M4A file, and if you want to create MP3 file, that's not what you want. So you're going to go up to uh, iTunes preferences. And you're going to go to the general tab, and you're going to go to uh, right here when, says, when you insert a CD, go to import settings, and you're going to go to MP3 encoder. And you okay, press OK. Okay. So if you remember, it said right here create AAC version. Now it says create MP3 version. So right here it'll be converting, and you'll see underneath. And uh, I'll come back when it's done. And we're back, and it's almost done. Should it'll appear right underneath. Okay, so if you look, press get info. Um, right here, right under there, it says uh, M4A. Now, if we go to the next song, it's now an MP3 file. And if you look back, M uh, M4A, 6.3 megabytes, 256 kilobytes per second. Go to the next one, MP3, 4.6 millibytes and 192 kilobytes per second. So. If you do this to all your songs, it'll actually save a lot of space. And if you need more space in your um, iPod, this is a really good way. Because, I mean, that's not that big of a difference. Um, unless you're really into the quality of the audio. But uh shouldn't matter too much, so I'm going to press OK. Um, another thing about this is that some if you buy all your music off of iTunes, which I don't, not most of it, but some, I guess... Right here. Uh, let's see. All right. So if you look, this was has the little explicit stamp because I bought it off of iTunes. So uh, look, if I press create MP3 version, uh, could not because it's a protected file. But I have some other music bought off of iTunes, like right here, which if I click uh, create MP3 version, it does for some reason. So if you look can create um it can create so now I have uh I have a M4A version or MP3 version and M4A version for some reason so some music you buy off iTunes can be converted and some can't and uh so thanks for watching um this is the uh, tutorial by the Alltech channel thanks subscribe